my name is Celia Hamilton, and I'm the Strategic Planning Manager for the Social Biz User Group. I'm coming at you live today from Smart Cloud for Social Business. Uh, with me here is Mark Pagna. He's the Senior Product Manager for Unified Communications and Collaboration. And we're here to discuss what's new in Smart Cloud. So, hi, Mark. Welcome. Tell me a bit about yourself. All right. Hey, Celia. So, about myself. So, I live in the Boston area. I'm a part of the IBM ICS Worldwide Product Management Team. And I'm specifically responsible for the real-time experience in Smart Cloud for Social Business. Or in much simpler words, it's same time in the cloud. Yeah. Uh, what news do you have to share with us today? Oh, this is in this August release. We actually have uh, you know a lot of enhancements to speak to, and you know it's it's all about enhancing the instant messaging experience in the IBM cloud. So lots lots to talk about today. Right, and why don't you before you get before we really get into what's new, tell me what users have had for instant messaging up until today. Absolutely. So smart cloud user, you know, until now, you know, I've been able to chat with other users, you know, transfer files between each other. And my personal favorite, you know, they can dynamically select and share a portion of their screen, you know, with someone else. So for example, if I want to quickly show you a part of the picture, you know, my renovation of my house, you know, to be personal, you know, I can do it in one single click, just drag and drop and you get it, you know. It's very easy. It's great. And you can um, perform all of these actions, you know, just using a browser or a mobile client. You know, so it's very simple. You don't need anything else. And this has been available since uh, about earlier this year when we upgraded the Smart Cloud platform with the new Same Time 9 client. Oh, great. Um, so why don't we talk a bit about what's new? Great. Yeah, so look, looking forward to it. So in this August release, you know, we are delivering one-to-one -one audio video, video calling. So how this works is actually very simple. So let's imagine that you and I are chatting about something, of course, work, you know, like as usual. So you'll see in the chat window, as you can see here, you'll see two new buttons, you know, one to start an audio and video call, and one to start an audio only call. Mm -hmm. You just click on the video button, for example, accept the request, and both of us are now seeing each other in the video call, like we are right now. Right. And if you and or I would like to skip the camera, you know, yeah, as you know, there are many times when a camera is not really welcome, you know, especially if you're working from home and it's a 7 a.m. call. Right. Uh, then we can talk to each other, you know, and just using an audio only call. And from a computer to computer, it's, it's very simple to use. Great. And do users have to have the uh, same time rich client to have this audio video feature? No, actually, we just, both of us just need a browser or a mobile. Uh, the first time we have, you know, you want to use it, you just have to install a, a browser plugin. You know, it's very standard practice. Or, as I said, you, we could use a mobile client and just move around the office and show, you know, different uh, perspectives. So the mobile client, you know, iOS or Android, will soon be available in your favorite app store. So I, I won't go too much into it there. You know, that's something we should keep for the next, uh, I guess, our next chat. Right, right. Uh, so what would audio video calling be used for? Do you have any examples? Absolutely, yeah. So let me give you uh, there are many situations where you know a quick talk you know or seeing someone in the video is is much more efficient than a text-based chat. So very often you will start with a you know the chat you know are you free and you just have this uh, back and forth uh, you know text message. But then you know there's a need to actually talk and explain something more in depth. And uh, every time you need to show something a whiteboard for example you know I'm sure I have some examples here here's a, a storyboard you know that we worked on you know it's I wouldn't be able to describe this in the text you know very easily you know. If you want to show a, a technical manual, here's a very <laughs> highly technical manual that you actually right. would like to show the you know the presentation, the layout, whatever it may be. You know all these things you know tech you know require you know showing and, and, and viewing. If you want to see a high tech piece of equipment, my watch for example, you know here's something that you can actually describe versus you know trying to discover oh, it's black and it's round and whatever else you know. Right. So this is important to be able to do this very quickly, and uh, in this case, video is just irreplaceable. And very, uh, you know, lots of other use cases. For example, if you want to have a, an interview with someone in your company and you want to find out if they're right for the job, or if you want to have a, uh, a discussion with your peer or a one-on-one -on -one like you do once in a while with your manager or your director, you know, then it's a very easy conversation to do just from, from your environment. So again, lots of use cases and, uh, you know, video in this case is, is very powerful. That's great. It's great news for, for chat users. What about audio, video, in web meetings? So, yes, we announced at IBM Connect earlier this year that we would do, uh, you know, we'd have two deliveries for audio and video. Um, the first one would be a one-to-one -one video, audio and video call, which is what we have, you know, we're talking about now. And that we would follow this with a, uh, you know, audio and video conferencing in a meeting. So I can't really speak to a date at this point. 
and we need to keep again we need we need to keep something for for one of the next uh, you know next calls but definitely it's a priority for us yeah. oh, great so a audio video that's great uh, what other news do you have around smart cloud so we're making lots of progress in our integration between the social and uh, real time so we believe that's actually one of the key enablers for productivity so over the next few years, it's going to be becoming more and more critical. The ability to integrate social components like a wiki or files, a blog, or community with mail and real-time functionality like instant messaging and meetings. So very important. So what's being delivered in Smart Cloud this month? Oh, yes, yes. So more specifically for this month, um, so we talked about file transfer, for example, earlier you know, in, in this call. So I can, you know, as I said, you know, we can easily transfer a file from my desktop to you just by pushing a button, you know, on, on the chat window that you can see here. So it's nice, but this keeps the content locked in in both of our, you know, computers. Um, so what is more impressive, more valuable to an organization, and for me in the long term, is when you can actually store this content in one central place, you know, in personal files, collaborate around this content, you know, you can create new versions, see who downloaded it, you know, and share it in a meeting without having to keep transferring files back and forth between the different desktops. You have one central place to work with, and it's the version of the truth is in, in that place. You know. So what we're delivering this month, you know, in addition to the transferring the files, which we had before, you'll be able to share files from your connections file repository, and uh, you know, very, uh, very easy to use. So I guess it could be one tagline if I was in marketing for this, for this um, user experience. It's collaborate, send links, not documents, and this is definitely our motto. That's great. And these announcements that you're talking about, are they specific to the cloud? Yes, they are. You know, so IBM is, is operating under a cloud-first strategy. So broadly speaking, that means that the, uh, we first implement those capabilities in the cloud environment, which allows us to fine-tune the functionality based on the customer's feedback you know, and what uh, you know, our customers tell us, and then optimize this experience. Uh, and then at regular intervals, you know, consistent with what we have done in the past with our on-premises releases, every 18 months or so, if I have to uh, sum up with the date, then we take what we have learned over this period and optimize over time and package it as part of an on-premises release. So I think this is a very positive you know, direction because it should lead to a better experience for all these customers. Okay. So this functionality will be available to on-premises customers at some point. Correct. Yes, exactly. This, this is exactly the intent. So browser-based audio video calls, for example, is clearly a capability that our on-premises customers are interested in and, and could take advantage of. So and we definitely encourage those customers to get a preview of what they should get in the next on-premises release by logging into the cloud and playing with it. This is the best way to discover it. That's great. How do you anticipate your customers will receive these new capabilities? <laughs> so I guess we'll know more when the larger smart cloud community has been exposed to those uh, audio and video uh, calls. But I'll tell you that uh, you know most in individuals that have been exposed to this right now, you know, are very eager to use it. You know, at the beginning there's always uh, some doubt about audio and video, and and when you start using it and you see the quality, we're receiving lots of positive feedback and definitely looking forward for our customers to use it. So it is a very exciting time now for this uh, smart cloud user community, and that's, that's great. Excellent. Well, great. Those are all my questions. Thanks for taking the time to answer them today. Oh, this was a pleasure. Looking forward for the next call. And uh, thanks again to our listeners. Please check out the Social Biz User Group at socialbizug.org. It's a community built for notes and domino administrators and developers. It's built entirely on connections and next pages and domino technologies. It's completely free to use, so sign up for your account today. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Social Biz User Group. We'll see you. Thank you.